Hello, good morning everyone. Am I audible and visible guys? Am I audible and visible, guys? Sorry. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. Okay. So, again, this class is important because in this class, we're going to cover previous year questions for FMG exams. Okay. So, like we did it for uh, uh, images, this thing. Okay. And we will be covering previous year questions. Now, this session will be held in two classes. One is happening today and the other will happen pretty soon. The link will also be shared. Okay. So, without much ado, let's begin. But before I start, I just want to give you a little update that uh, an academy is conducting a MedMind scholarship test, guys, which is an Ultra Combat 2.0. This is bigger and better this time. So, it will be conducted. There will be separate set of questions for the first first year, second year, third year, final year, as well as intern, post intern and it's going to be 50 questions, 60 minutes each. Okay? The session will be conducted on 27th November 12 p.m. So you can enroll right now also. All you need to do is use code PSM10. It's absolutely free. So do take part. It will be conducted on Android app and web. Okay? <clears throat> this will really be helpful for all of you and you'll get amazing prizes, a MacBook for lucky participants. Rank 1 will get an iPad, Rank 2 mobile, Rank 3 Kindle, Rank 4 smartwatch, Rank 5 to 10 stethoscope. So there are amazing prices. Okay, 50 questions and 60 minutes each. So do part, part, take part in MedMind's Ultra Combat 2.0. Okay, just uh, uh, click on, uh, uh, go to an academy, click on the links and uh, it is also there in the description box and use code PSM10. Also, there's an FMG mock test which is happening today. So, if you want, you can go ahead and participate in it. And we have also launched a rapid revision batch uh, which has almost a strike rate of 90 to 95 percent for PSM. Okay, and it's a neat PG 2023 achievers bad rapid revision with MCQs. So, PSM will also be uh, taken up in this rapid revision batch course. You can use my code PSM10 to enroll. Take it the course is for 13770. If you want, you can definitely take it. And Prof 2 package has also been launched on an academy playlist. Okay, MBBS Prof 2 package. So, again, if anybody wants wants can take part in it can uh, take it use code PSM10 okay let us now begin all right so we have quite a number of questions to see the PYQ sessions will be held in two halves and uh, I will share the PDFs also on the respective telegram channels but uh, as of now a quick look at today morning MCQs are and then there will be one another session <coughs> which will cover all the remaining PYQs okay yeah very good so we'll have a look at them quickly if any question you can't understand you can ask me towards the end also okay so what is this logo this logo is of Suraksha clinic okay now whose initiative is Suraksha clinic can anyone tell me whose initiative another question can come Suraksha clinic is for RTI, reproductive tract infection and sexually transmitted infections. Okay? And this initiative was taken by National AIDS Control Program. So I'm going to write all the golden points also. Okay? National AIDS Control Program for which NACO is an important path. Now please don't get confused. This is white color with a red dot in the middle. Okay. So this is Suraksha Clinic. And how does International Red Cross look like? Just for your revision. International Red Cross, everybody looks like a red logo. Okay, it's completely red in color. All right, this is white in color with red dot in the center, and this one is completely red in color. Yes, of course, Divya. Okay, where is the headquarter of International Red Cross? Everybody, this is in Geneva. The headquarter of uh, International Red Cross is in Geneva, and this is the logo for NACO. Narco ka headquarter is in New Delhi. Okay, and this one right over here is UN AIDS. UN AIDS is the international setup for you know managing HIV AIDS. The headquarter of UN AIDS is in Geneva. I just wanted to show you how Suraksha Clinic looks 
okay white colored logo with a red dot and international red cross is completely red in color and this is narco and un aids okay moving to the next question what is the answer to this a man came for checkup after his father had a cerebrovascular accident uh ha hoga prane it will just happen the next uh, week hopefully okay next two week only because otherwise it will get late okay so we'll try to have it next two weeks sometime in between only okay definitely okay all right okay chalo so what is the answer to this yes secondary level of prevention now any form of health checkup okay any form of health checkup or any form of health camp ठीक है कोई भी हेल्थ चेकअप या हेल्थ कैंप कुछ भी अगर होता है दैट फॉर्म्स अंडर सेकेंडरी लेवल व्हाई बिकॉज इन दिस वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक एन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस ठीक है हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक एन अर्ली डायग्नोसिस एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी विल आल्सो प्रोवाइड ट्रीटमेंट ओके सो एनी फॉर्म ऑफ हेल्थ चेकअप और हेल्थ कैंप इज विच लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन सेकेंडरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन ये देखो वॉट इज प्राइमोडियल लेवल इट हैपन्स बिफोर रिस्क फैक्टर्स राइट वॉट इज प्राइमरी रिस्क फैक्टर इज प्रेजेंट बट नो डिजीज ओके एंड वॉट इज सेकेंडरी अर्ली पार्ट ऑफ द डिजीज बट नो कॉम्प्लिकेशन ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and what is tertiary later part of the disease that means in tertiary what happens complication has occurred so how do you achieve primordial level of prevention we'll just quickly revise it by health education how do you achieve primary level of prevention by health promotion and health promotion i'll give you example also and specific protection okay and what is secondary early diagnosis and treatment so secondary is basically screening and what is tertiary guys tertiary is like disability limitation okay disability limitation and rehabilitation okay disability limitation and rehabilitation all right that is very very important so now jaise divya is asking some examples now if i say immunization which level of prevention is immunization now why are you immunizing a child the child like why are you giving measles vaccine does the child suffer from measles no you want to prevent the child from developing measles right aap usko measles hona nahi dena chahte so you give the measles vaccine at around 9 completed months why so that the child does not go on to develop measles the risk factors are already there okay immunity has finished there is no maternal antibody from the mother okay but if i ask you wearing seat belts what is that wearing seat belts now again you have to wear seat belts because this is an example of primary or specific protection theek hai primary level hai ya specific protection hai because risk factor for accident is always there people will drink and drive right people will drink and drive uh, there will be broken roads so the risk factor for accidents is always there so we need to protect them particularly by making them wear by making people wear uh, seat belts okay then dots what is dots everybody what do you think dots and multi drug therapy for leprosy ye sab kya hai no prane vaccine is not primordial risk factor is there no you are giving measles vaccine because maternal antibodies has finished the child could also be malnourished okay so to protect from all these measles if we don't give the child can go on to develop the disease okay dots and mdt is like secondary why because it is directly observed treatment multi drug therapy treatment so this is secondary all right if i say pap smear pap smear kya hai pap smear is a form of early diagnosis it's a form of screening so again pap smear is your secondary level of prevention okay did you understand but if we provide crutches to a patient of polio what is this crutches to a patient of polio ye kya hai if you are providing crutches to a patient of polio now the patient is suffering from polio complication is already there he is paralyzed so you are providing him crutches so that he can walk so this is 
rehabilitation okay what is this this is rehabilitation got it everybody okay all right so now here the question was the person has come for a checkup after his father had a cva due to hypertension so he is also worried that maybe the disease process has started in his body okay and he wants to find out about that so you never go to a hospital to screen your risk factors you go to a hospital to screen for the disease okay let's go ahead true about school health guidelines so school health guidelines is also a favorite topic of fmg exams batao answer minimum area 5 square feet per student minus desk type can allot 60 students per classroom light is coming from the front of the classroom what is this answer very good true is minus desk type minimum area per student kitta hona chahiye 10 square feet can allot 40 students uh, 60 students less than 40 students and should the light come from front no the light should always come from the left side why because most of us are right handed net ha right hand se likhte so light kahan se aana chahiye left side se so let us quickly revise some school health guidelines okay so here you can have a look at school health guidelines the concept for school health guidelines everybody was given by bhor committee Okay, Bohr committee ne concept diya tha. But this was improvised by whom? This was improvised by Renuka Roy. Okay, this was improvised by Renuka Roy committee. Or Renuka Roy committee ne kya bola tha? That school health checkup should happen once every four years. Please don't say that school health ka concept was given by Renuka Roy. No, it was improvised by Renuka Roy. The concept was given by Sir Joseph Board. And now what are the guidelines? One classroom up to 40 students minus test type doors and windows more than equal to 25 percent of floor area one urinal 60 students one latrine 100 students natural light from the left side minimum area more than 10 square feet and school health checkup once every six months is it clear school health checkup once every six months got it and which level of prevention is school health checkup again it's a form of early diagnosis so it's a secondary level of prevention and what is the most common uh, infections reported in school health checkup guys dental infections okay dental infection most commonly reported okay most commonly reported kya hota hai? dental infections not tertiary mosme it's secondary okay all right, because we want to make an early diagnosis. Sorry. Okay, now let us see if you can answer this. A research study is being conducted on patients in rehabilitation. Impact of action among young adults was assessed on the subsequent divorce. Among two groups of study subjects, divorced and non-divorced, history of alcohol and drug use were assessed. So what kind of study is this? Okay, Nadia says case control. Now, you will be getting uh, identification from the study design. Okay, it's really important. Okay, uh, Rose says, Dream says, be very good. Now, see, whenever you get a question to identify a study design, okay, what you have to do? You have to identify a study design. So, the real thing is when you have to identify a study design, what has to be your approach okay so in this you have to look at two things first whenever you get a question like this aap dekho what is the exposure and what is the outcome so what is the exposure over here everybody exposure kya hai? what do you want to study exposure is alcohol and drug right alcohol and drug and what is the outcome whether the person is divorced or non-divorced okay so the first thing that you need to do is identify the study design okay and in that you have to know what is the exposure what is the outcome now here look they have also mentioned history history means that's your next hint we have to go retrospective retrospective means aapko kaise jana hai? backwards okay so now there are two groups of study subjects divorced and non-divorced 
history of alcohol drug was used so they are very clearly saying that there are two groups of study subjects one is divorced and the other is non divorced okay and what you have to do over here you have to go back and ask about alcohols alcoholic no alcoholic okay similarly here you have to ask about alcoholic and no alcoholic okay so what are you doing you're going back okay you're going back and what are you comparing diseased and non diseased so divorced and non diseased or divorced okay so the answer becomes case control is it clear another one hour divya okay the first part we will finish in another 45 minutes to one hour okay all right history means it's happened yes plus there's another hint in the question is it a rare disease or is it a very common disease i mean not a disease an event is divorce very rare or is divorce very common see now divorce still is a rare event it's not like every other person is divorced okay so it's a rare event right so whenever you have any rare disease whenever you have a rare event it's always better to start with it rather than going forward and waiting for divorce to happen it's always good that we start with that outcome okay and it was clearly mentioned there are two groups divorced non divorced and you have to find out the history so you're going to go back and ask about the history is it clear so some golden points okay can you tell me the study design which you will use when we have a rare disease or a rare event so when you have a rare disease you will use always use case control look out for the words like history two groups diseased non diseased and whenever you will compare these are some golden points okay for you to answer the questions rare disease hoga this thing whenever you are comparing diseased and non diseased okay again which type of study design diseased and non diseased ke liye you will use a case control study but whenever you have to compare exposed and non exposed okay you're comparing exposed and non exposed and then following them up for the outcome you will use a cohort study theek hai exposed and non exposed ke liye cohort ho gaya whenever you have to study multiple outcomes okay multiple outcomes so you compare exposed non exposed go forward and find for the multiple outcomes cohort and whenever you have to study multiple exposures so diseased non diseased go backward and ask about the multiple exposures so in that case you will use a case control okay clear theek hai okay the way it's very simple whenever you have a rare disease like here uh it was divorced non divorced okay you will take a case control it's better to start with that okay and then the word like history was mentioned so you go backwards obviously it's retrospective study design a case control plus you were comparing two groups which were clearly mentioned divorced and non divorced so again it will become a case control okay chalo moving forward if you have any doubt i will take it up again towards the end of the class okay next question a researcher undertakes follow up study for a certain time period duration and tells that the people increasingly develop disease with time then it is expressed as incidence cumulative incidence prevalence or risk now over here guys first of all follow up study so what is a follow up study what is a follow up study follow up study is always a cohort study right follow up study kya hota hai cohort okay you're moving forward ठीक है, so in a cohort study, what do you calculate incidence? Okay, but here the question said people increasingly develop disease with time means they are going on developing disease with time. That means there is no dip. So when there is no dip, it represents what cumulative incidence. Okay, it represents what cumulative incidence. That means people are increasingly developing disease. So this is what cumulative incidence. Okay, there is no dip in the number of cases. Cases are continuously increasing. ठीक है? So क्या हो गया ये cumulative incidence. What is just plain incidence? Incidence is the 
टोटल नंबर ऑफ न्यू केसेस लेट्स रिवाइज दिस बिकॉज ये भी पी वाई क्यू में आता है नंबर ऑफ न्यू केसेस आउट ऑफ द टोटल पॉपुलेशन एट रिस्क ओके एंड वॉट विल बी योर मल्टीप्लायर एवरीबडी थाउजेंड ठीक है मल्टीप्लायर क्या होगा थाउजेंड सो इंसिडेंस इज अ रेट बट वॉट इज प्रेवलेंस प्रेवलेंस इज इक्वल टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ केसेस टोटल नंबर ऑफ केसेस मीन्स न्यू प्लस ओल्ड डिवाइडेड बाय द टोटल पॉपुलेशन एंड यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विथ हंड्रेड सो प्रेवलेंस एक्चुअली इज परसेंटेज ओके और इट्स अ प्रोपोर्शन प्रेवलेंस इज एक्चुअली अ प्रोपोर्शन रिमेंबर दिस ठीक है सो हाउ डज अक्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी कर्व लुक लाइक एंड वन मोर गोल्डन पॉइंट इंसिडेंस तुम किस स्टडी से कैलकुलेट करते हो गए इसको हॉट प्रेवलेंस किस स्टडी से कैलकुलेट होता है क्रॉस सेक्शनल ओके प्रेवलेंस इज कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम क्रॉस सेक्शनल इंसिडेंस एवरीबडी इज कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम अ कोहॉट स्टडी ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट वन नाउ व्हिच वन इज अक्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी कर्व ओवर हियर दिस कम्स एज एन इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आल्सो सो दिस राइट ओवर हियर इज अ क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी कर्व और वी कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज एन ओजाइक and this one this shows no dip theek hai koi bhi dip nahi hai cases are constantly increasing theek hai kya ho raha hai cases cases constantly increase ho raha hai okay cases are constantly increasing and here you can see a rise and dip theek hai matlab rise bhi hai fall bhi hai this is a line diagram what is it this is a line डायग्राम ओके लाइन डायग्राम ऑल्सो कम्स एन एग्जाम गाइज लाइन डायग्राम इज यूज टू डिनोट ट्रेंड ऑफ एन इवेंट विथ टाइम ओके और इंसिडेंस ऑफ केसेस ओके नॉट क्यूमुलेटिव बट इंसिडेंस ऑफ केसेस ओके विथ टाइम न्यू केसेस इज इट राइजिंग इज इट फॉलिंग सो दीज टू डायग्राम अगेन कैन कम क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी कर्व तुमने यहां से देख लिया है दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन डोंट गेट अबाउट इट ओके मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन वॉट इज योर आंसर वॉट इज एन पी सी डी सी एस एंड वॉट ऑल आर इंक्लूडेड इन इट ओके so dream says option d cvd diabetes stroke anybody else would want to say something else okay very good this is npc dcs is this now the question is going to turn up what are any new diseases included have there been any new inclusions under this program okay so when you look at npc dcs iska logo dekh lo this is important since they have already asked a question national program npc dcs national program for prevention and control of cancer so you have cancer you have diabetes okay then we have cardiovascular diseases cvd and also there's going to be stroke theek okay? hai national program for control of cancer diabetes cardiovascular diseases and stroke health in your own hands okay now the question now which can come is what are the newer inclusions so which new diseases have become a part of npc dcs copd chronic kidney disease okay we are also including now ayush in this theek okay? hai also there has been an inclusion of rashtriya swasthya beam uh, sorry rashtriya bal swasth karyakram okay what is it rashtriya bal swasth karyakram okay we are also including rashtriya bal swasth karyakram in this theek okay? hai okay copd included hai ckd hai ayush hai rashtriya bal swasth karyakram iska part ho gaya and now tb and diabetes is also being uh, looked at together okay tb and diabetes are also being looked at together so a question can come what are your newer inclusions copd ckd आयुष हो गया राष्ट्र बाल स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम हो गया एंड ऑल्सो टीबी एंड डायबिटीज ओके ऑल ऑफ दीज आर अ पार्ट ऑफ एन पी सी डी सी एस ठीक है ऑल राइट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वॉट इज द आंसर टू दिस डॉक्टर इज टीचिंग एन इन टर्न अबाउट नी रिफ्लेक्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन वॉट टाइप ऑफ लर्निंग इज दिस क 
कॉग्नेटिव अफेक्टिव साइकोमोटर और नन ऑफ दी अब वेरी गुड सो दिस इज साइकोमोटर वाई बिकॉज दिस इज प्रोमोटिंग वॉट स्किल डेवलपमेंट ओके इट प्रोमोट्स वॉट स्किल डेवलपमेंट सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑफ लर्निंग ओके सो जस्ट हैव अ लुक ओवर हियर वन क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो बी लर्निंग इज अ परमानेंट चेंज ऑफ बिहेवियर और अ टेम्पररी चेंज सो लर्निंग इज एनी रिलेटिव परमानेंट चेंज वॉट इज इट इट्स अ परमानेंट चेंज देन इट्स ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स कॉग्नेटिव बेस्ड ऑन नॉलेज अफेक्टिव बेस्ड ऑन एटीट्यूड एंड साइकोमोटर इज बेस्ड ऑन स्किल दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट स्लाइड ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लर्निंग इज समथिंग विच इज परमानेंट ओके वन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन नॉलेज इज कॉग्नेटिव एंड वन विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद एटीट्यूड इज अफेक्टिव लर्निंग एंड वन विच फेवर स्किल डेवलपमेंट ओके इज साइकोमोटर ऑल राइट लाइक इंटर्न इंटर्न को नी रिफ्लेक्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन सिखा रहे हैं या बच्चे को हैंड वॉशिंग टेक्निक सिखा रहे हैं ठीक है सो लुक एट दिस वंस अगेन डॉक्टर इज टीचिंग एंड इंटर्न अबाउट नी रिफ्लेक्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन सो वॉट टाइप ऑफ लर्निंग डज इट बिकम साइकोमोटर ओके मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन अंडर आई सी डी एस इनसेक्ट इंटर सेक्टोरल कोऑर्डिनेशन इज फाउंड विथ सो आई सी डी एस इज इंटीग्रेटेड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट सर्विसेस स्कीम so where do you find intersectoral coordination with nhm very good because national health mission is like an overall body it's like an overall supervising body under which a lot of things come guys and our nhm national health in mission includes nrhm national rural health mission national urban health mission rmnch plus a then it also includes all communicable diseases okay it includes all communicable diseases it also includes all non communicable diseases it also includes what administrative policies ठीक है एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव पॉलिसीज सब कुछ इंक्लूड करता है सो इट्स एन इंटर सेक्टोरल कोऑर्डिनेशन विद एन एच एम एंड इफ समी आस यू इज इंटर सेक्टोरल कोऑर्डिनेशन अ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ वॉट दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ primary health care okay i hope you remember this is also one of the principles of primary health care chalo so this one right here is nhm ka logo just a quick revision this is narco what is the symbol of lotus since it was given in the mcq this is national leprosy eradication program okay what is it national leprosy eradication program and this one over here nrega rural employment guarantee act of course nadia we have questions let them come okay pyqs will be covered in two sessions so we have those uh, questions also as we proceed we'll talk about it nadia okay all right chalo next very easy rabies free state in india <coughs> sikkim <coughs> jnk andaman nicobar rajasthan very good so rabies free state india mein kya ho gaya andaman and nicobar islands okay we all know that water surrounded areas rabies free hote chalo next niti aayog has replaced national board of examinations medical council of india national planning commission ministry of health and family welfare niti aayog has replaced what niti aayog has replaced very good national planning commission okay niti aayog has replaced national planning commission so just a few points about niti aayog okay since it has come it can come in your exams niti aayog hota hai nothing but national institution okay it's a national institution for transforming india and when was it launched 
फर्स्ट जैन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन ओके नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इंडिया विच वॉज लॉन्च ऑन फर्स्ट जैन दिस हैज रिप्लेस्ड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट रिप्लेस्ड द नेशनल प्लानिंग कमीशन ओके इट रिप्लेस्ड वॉट नेशनल प्लानिंग कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया नाउ वेर इज वॉट इज दी अदर वर्ड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज थिंक टैंक ऑफ इंडिया वॉट इज इट ऑल्सो नोन एज थिंक टैंक ऑफ इंडिया विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फ्रेमिंग ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम ठीक है क्या फ्रॉम करेगा ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम एंड हु इज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नीति आयोग इफ यू रिमेंबर चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नीति आयोग इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर ओके हु इज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नीति आयोग चेयरपर्सन ऑफ नीति आयोग एवरीबडी इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ठीक है ऑल राइट मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन येस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अ पी वाई क्यू From a very important topic, screening. Batao. A screening test is used for a disease in a population. What does interval between B and Y represent? Late time incubation period, screening time, or latent period? What is the answer? Very good. We all know this is late time. They have given this image once, and the next time when they gave the question, they asked what is B, what is X, what is Y. So what is B, everybody? B is your first possible point of detection. X is the critical point of detection. what is y y is your usual time of diagnosis now guys in which point do we have signs and symptoms in the usual time of diagnosis only here signs and symptoms hai okay here signs and symptoms are present but are there any signs and symptoms at point b no that's the first possible point of detection yahan pe there are no signs and symptoms okay here there are no signs and symptoms it's the first possible point of detection okay yahan pe there are no signs and by a screening by applying a screening test do you remember where do we apply a screening test on this hidden portion hai na screening test hum log kahan apply karte hain yahan screening test is hidden portion which is apparently healthy right so we want to uh, apparently healthy population we want to identify a person before the person develop signs and symptoms like instead of identifying cancer at stage 4 i would identify cancer at stage 1 okay so instead of applying a test at point y which is the usual time i am going to apply a test at point b which is the first possible point <clears throat> so this is we are leading we are early in the detection of the disease by this time period lead time this is b to y hum log is time period se lead kar rahe in the detection of the disease okay clear what was incubation period the time between entry of organism to the appearance of first sign and symptom what is screening time between first possible point of detection and also critical point of detection theek hai latent period kya hota hai guys that is ip for non communicable diseases it's incubation period for ncds only that we call it as a latent period theek hai it's the same incubation period for non communicable diseases clear everyone will you remember lead time instead of applying at point y which is the usual time when a person presents with sign and symptoms so instead of applying a test at point y let's apply the test at point b okay and try to lead in the detection so that we can prolong survival screening ka ultimate purpose is to prolong survival clear chalo next Okay, some points about ASHA. Quick revision of ASHA. ASHA worker in rural area is designated for how much population? Thousand, two thousand, three thousand, or five thousand? What is your answer? Very good. So it is thousand. It is still thousand. So let us do some points about ASHA. Okay, a quick revision. ASHA is accredited. 
दे आर स्टिल आस्किंग अबाउट आशा ओके सोशल हेल्थ एक्टिविस्ट ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नाउ शी इज अ वुम शी इज अ मैरिड वुमन मैरिड डिवोर्स्ड वुमन ओके ऑफ एज ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ओके शी इज अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ द local community she is an example of principle of she is an example of community participation okay yes resident of local community or you could also say same village so that would bring about the desired change okay so she is an example of community participation okay this is one of the most important principles of primary health care she is selected by whom she is selected by village panchayat under supervision of whom under supervision of medical officer theek hai selected by village panchayat under supervision of medical officer that is also important okay training by who trains her training by anm and anganwadi theek hai anm or anganwadi worker okay sixth point what is the duration of training guys what is the duration of training for an asha worker duration of training for asha worker is 23 days which is spread over a period of 1 year seventh point what is the existing population norm kitna hai existing population norm guys the existing population norm everybody is 1 per 1000 but eighth point What is the proposed population norm? बताओ Proposed population norm is टू per थाउजेंड Existing जो है अभी that is वन per थाउजेंड But how much are we proposing everyone? We are proposing टू per थाउजेंड ठीक है So proposed population norm कितना हो गया Proposed population norm is टू per थाउजेंड Okay, ninth point. okay what is her education how much should be her education education is 10th pass guys whether it's a hilly or a uh, tribal or a rural area or whatever theek hai education is 10th pass okay uh, yeah drink in some of the sessions will be taken like let's finish up pyq in one or two days today is the first class for pyq maybe i'll hold another session on tuesday for pyq wrap up the pyq then we will have one class for numericals in the next week only all formula revision and numerical for fmg exam then we are going to have one supersonic revision like we had last time and last may whatever new updates are there that will be provided okay all right ठीक है या इफ यू लुक एट द साइट इट स्टिल शोस प्रपोज्ड इज 2 पर 1000 ओके चलो नेक्स्ट वन लेट्स सी इफ यू कैन कैलकुलेट दिस प्लीज डोंट लुक एट न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड थिंक दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट और आई एम गोना सॉल्व इट लेटर और समथिंग लाइक दैट नो ओके न्यू नेटल मोर्टालिटी रेट को आप कैसे कैलकुलेट करोगे सो व्हेन एवर यू गेट एनी कैलकुलेशन टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ don't worry try to remember the formula now what is neonatal mortality rate all formula revision will happen in this coming week only theek hai all the classes will try to wrap up in the coming week only so that you can uh, you get time to study as well okay images ka session has already been taken 100 important images right that has already been done almost all psm we have revised with the images the pdf is also there on my telegram channel psm with dr neha okay also on an academy telegram channel so what is the answer to this guys so the answer is neonatal mortality rate so who is a neonate death between 0 to 28 days guys and you have to remember in preventive pediatrics everywhere the multiplier is 1000 and the denominator is life birth but throughout preventive obs and pediatrics it's only in preventive obstetrics that the multiplier is 1 lakh otherwise throughout kya hai 1000 so <clears throat> Total life birth has been given to you as four thousand. So you have four thousand. 
टोटल डेथ अमंग जीरो टू सेवन बेबी जीरो टू सेवन बेबी मतलब अर्ली न्यूनेटल मोर्टैलिटी रेट ओके फोर्टी एंड सेवन टू ट्वेंटी एट डेज अगेन फोर्टी दिस इज लेट न्यूनेटल मोर्टैलिटी रेट सो फोर्टी इन टू थाउजेंड कर दो सो दिस इज एटी बाय फोर थाउजेंड इन टू थाउजेंड सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी पर थाउजेंड लाइफ पर ओके सो वॉट इज योर आंसर ओवर हियर ट्वेंटी इज इट क्लियर न्यू नेटल मोर्टैलिटी रेट कितना हो गया दैट कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी प्लीज डोंट वरी प्लीज डोंट थिंक यू लिव द न्यूमेरिकल्स दे आर वेरी वेरी सिंपल वेन वी हैव अ फॉर्मूला रिविजन आई विल क्विकली बी रिवाइजिंग ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूलाज एंड हाउ यू कैन रिमेंबर इट ठीक है आई बी गिविंग यू ईजी वेज फॉर दैट ऑल्सो ठीक है ओके मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन mortality is taken into consideration and again this is one of the very important topics fertility indicators so let's quickly revise fertility indicators what is the answer pehle batao gross reproduction rate total fertility rate completed family size net reproduction rate now many times this question comes in different forms they can either ask you any one definition or like here they have asked you mortality is taken into consideration okay they can ask you that as well so let us look at each of these term now total fam fertility size okay total fertility rate kya hota hai let's write here tfr is equal to okay tfr means total so it is the total number of children or you could also say the average number of children any reproductive age woman will bear woman or couple will have throughout what throughout their reproductive life span okay so it's the total number of children so since it says total number throughout reproductive life span means 15 to 49 years okay considering current fertility okay listen to this carefully considering what current fertility pattern we have to consider only the current fertility pattern so the total number of children or the average number of children any reproductive age couple will have considering the current fertility pattern now since it is t it is an indicator of complete family size now what do you mean by family size if suppose there is a couple okay and they have two kids all right they have two kids one is a boy and what is one is a girl so what is the complete family size here what is the family size complete means till 49 years of age how many children the woman had so what is the family size here agar ek papa mother papa mama father mother and two children so what is it not four not four guys family size is again a question it only means the number of children okay pratibha family matlab not four guys family size you never include the parents okay it's only the number of children which is included okay so tfr is an indicator of complete family size complete family size matlab kya ho gaya the total number of children okay it's nothing else it's just the total number of children so total number of children any reproductive age couple will have throughout their reproductive life span considering the current fertility is your family size uh, is your total fertility rate and what is gross reproduction rate g for girls okay same thing total number of girls a uh, reproductive age couple will have throughout her reproductive life span of 15 to 49 years but what is net reproduction rate net reproduction rate means same thing total number of girls okay a total number of girls but what do we say over here considering current mortality theek hai considering what considering current mortality pattern 
okay considering current mortality pattern just a second One second, guys. Huh? Okay. All right. So the answer over here becomes considering current mortality pattern. So when we take current mortality into consideration, the answer becomes net reproduction rate. Okay. So if somebody asks you some golden points. Indicator of complete family size. Kya hoga answer? Indicator of complete family size. Kya hoga answer? Total fertility rate. If somebody asks you, uh, most popular fertility indicator. Most popular fertility indicator. Indicator of complete family size is TFR. Okay. Most popular fertility indicator. Like on the basis of which you can compare countries. So most popular fertility indicator kya hoga? TFR. Okay. Then mortality dependent fertility indicator kya hoga? Mortality dependent fertility indicator. So that is NRR net reproduction rate most sensitive indicator for achievement of family planning program most sensitive indicator for achievement of family planning program for achievement of family planning so subse sensitive indicator for achievement of family planning kya hoga net reproduction rate but if i ask you tfr for girl child girl child ka tfr batao since we are taking girls into account this is gross reproduction rate is it clear tfr for girl child will become what gross reproduction rate okay that is very very important most sensitive indicator for achievement of family planning services is net reproduction rate tfr for girl child will become cross reproduction rate okay so and family size means only the number of children okay you must remember this and one more question which comes in fmg exams guys okay uh, just a second alia for population to stabilize okay for population to stabilize okay for population to stabilize for any country tfr should become 2.1 and tfr will become 2.1 when net reproduction rate is equal to 1 net reproduction rate will become equal to 1 when couple protection rate or you could also say contraceptive prevalence rate how many couples are using a contraceptive contraceptive prevalence rate okay ye kitta ho jayega more than 60 percent okay remember this this is a pyq based slide only okay and uh, <clears throat> currently for india guys currently for india already tfr two ho chuka hai. couple protection rate has become equal to 66.7 percent okay net reproduction rate equal to one matlab hota hai replacement level of fertility achieved what has been achieved replacement level of fertility okay humne kya achieve kar liya hai? replacement level of fertility this simply means that population is stable these are just some golden points which i have summed up for you now crude birth rate which alia is saying crude birth rate crude birth rate is nothing it's a total number of life births okay per thousand media population now crude birth rate is the simplest measure of fertility what is it simplest measure sabse simple measure hai kiska fertility ka okay it's the simplest measure of fertility so when they ask you what is the simplest measure alia it's crude birth rate okay so you just did some golden points remember all these points can come in your exams okay next one a nurse spills blood on floor what should be used this has come many times guys we all know any blood spill is managed by sodium hypochlorite but when it's very 
high num high uh, spill i mean a lot of blood okay like suppose in an ot a woman suffers from pph or something then we need to use 10% of sodium hypochlorite ethyl alcohol again is to sanitize hands and all that cresol may sputum disinfect kar sakte ho glutaraldehyde and all this is for medical instruments theek hai guys everybody remember these points okay next separation of healthy individuals and animals exposed to communicable disease for a period of time which is not longer than the longest incubation period of the disease what is it isolation yes bronchoscopes and all that glutaraldehyde very good what is this absolute quarantine okay longest incubation period ke liye separate karna is absolute quarantine what is modified quarantine partial modified quarantine everybody is partial limitation of movement complete interruption of movement for the longest incubation period is something which is absolute but modified kya hota hai modified is like partial limitation of movement okay so modified quarantine is your partial limitation of movement again this can come in your exams now guys what is the difference between quarantine and isolation who's going to tell me क्वारंटाइन एंड आइसोलेशन क्या डिफरेंस है क्वारंटाइन एंड आइसोलेशन में सो लेट्स जस्ट क्विकली रिवाइज क्वारंटाइन इज डन फॉर हेल्दी कॉन्टैक्ट एक बार देख लो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आइसोलेशन इज डन फॉर केसेस सो क्वारंटाइन इज डन फॉर मैक्सिमम इनक्यूबेशन सो वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ क्वारंटाइन इट्स मैक्सिमम इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड ऑफ डिजीज okay and isolation is done for the period of communicability or or transmissibility of disease or till person recovers Hmm? Now quarantine is which level of prevention? Primary level, because quarantine is for like they are a risk factor for the others. Okay, anybody who's come in contact with the case, so it's primary level. Isolation is a form of treatment. So isolation kya ho gaya? Secondary level of prevention. ठीक है क्वारंटाइन इज प्राइमरी आइसोलेशन इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट सेकेंडरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन ओके दिस थिंग कैन कम सो एब्सोल्यूट क्वारंटाइन इज फॉर मैक्सिमम इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड ऑफ द डिजीज एंड दिस मॉडिफाइड क्वारंटाइन इज पार्शियल लिमिटेशन ऑफ मूवमेंट चलो नेक्स्ट मोस्ट कॉमन इमोशन मॉडिफाइंग ह्यूमन बिहेवियर what is your answer very good fear not love not anger not hate it's fear fear of uh, fear of uh, losing okay like now as exams will approach the fear in you will make you study 10 times harder okay so there's a lot of things okay the fear of power so most common emotion is fear now one of the very commonly asked questions a patient presented with rash and diarrhea since two months identified the deficiency and you have also given you've been given the image the image has also come separately guys you can look at over here this is castles necklace this question is very famous a lot of top times this has come last time neat pg mein hi tumhara do question isse aa gaya hai all right okay ओके सो इट इज विटामिन बी नहीं बोलो विच विटामिन बी ओके सो इट इज नियासन डेफिशिएंसी दिस यू कैन सी हाइपर पिगमेंटेड पैचेस ओके बायलैटरल पैचेस नाउ इन दिस देयर इज डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ नियासन सो व्हेनेवर देयर इज डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ नियासन इट लीड्स टू पिलाग्रा 
पिलाग्रा में आप क्या देखते हो वन कैसल्स नेकलेस देन यू ऑल्सो नोटिस सी हियर इट वॉज रिटर्न डायरिया डायरिया हियर इट वॉज यू कैन सी इन हिज हैंड्स डोमेटाइटिस फिर डिप्रेशन डायरिया डिमेंशिया ओके डिमेंशिया डेलीरियम डिप्रेशन एंड डेथ ओके और राइट एंड पर्टिकुलरली ये नाउ पर्टिकुलरली द थिंग दैट विक्रांत इज राइटिंग उसमें ट्रिप्टोफैन गेट्स कन्वर्टेड टू नियासिन ठीक है बट इन सर्टन ईटर्स लाइक मेज ईटर्स ओके मेज ईटर्स वॉट हैपन्स इन मेज ईटर्स एवरीबडी दिस वॉज ऑल्सो आस्ट इन वन ऑफ द पी वाई क्यू ट्रिप्टोफैन हैज टू गेट कन्वर्टेड टू नियासिन बट इन मेज ईटर्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग देर इज एक्सेस ऑफ ल्यूसिन ओके Yes, six days. Diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis, delirium, depression, and death. Okay, so this becomes six days. Okay, now in among maize eaters, what happens? There is excess of leucine. What does this excess of leucine do? Does it prevents the conversion of? It does not let tryptophan to get converted into niacin. Okay, so this is seen. Also, this is seen among jowar and sorghum eaters. Not just maize eaters. Among jowar and sorghum eaters. Or, how many milligram of what is given? Sixty milligram of tryptophan is given. One milligram of niacin. ठीक है, sixty milligram tryptophan gets one milligram of niacin. Now, what are the other ways in this? Other question has come. It has come as this image also. So you can make a look over here. Castles necklace. This is again niacin deficiency. Okay, or this is. Pelagra. नेक्स्ट वन देखो दिस वॉज ऑल्सो आस्ट इन वन ऑफ द लेटेस्ट एग्जाम्स ऑफ नीट पी जी आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू दैट हाउ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम नीट पी जी और हाउ द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एफ एम जी गेट रिपीटेड अ फार्मर इज हैविंग कंप्लेन ऑफ स्किन रैश विच इंक्रीजेज ऑन सन एक्सपोजर दिस इज ऑल्सो इन सन एक्सपोज एरिया में रैश बहुत होता है रेडनेस ऑफ द टंग मे स्टेपल डाइट सो अगेन विच विटामिन नियासिन deficiency okay vitamin b3 deficiency this is another way it can be asked over sun exposed area this is happening look at the other way in which the question was asked a 45 year old male presents with the following skill chain what history will you take so what history will you take dietary dementia diarrhea theek hai dermatitis delirium depression death so you are going to take a history of dietary pattern dementia as well as <coughs> diarrhea okay all right now what is the maximum thickness so can you see how the same question has got repeated so many times right maximum thickness of lead apron required is 0.1 mm 0.2 mm 0.3 mm 0.5 mm very good maximum thickness everybody is 0.5 mm so just read 0.5 mm is the most widely used it is able to attenuate more than 90% of scattered radiation 1 mm is very heavy but next time they can give you for mammography okay this is an expected mcq for mammography particularly minimum 0.25 ठीक है maximum 0.5 mm minimum 0.25 which can be used for mammography okay next one A woman who is lactating came to OPD six weeks after delivery for checkup, and to get advice for contraception. Which of the following is not advised? Okay, so she is lactating. She has come to six weeks after delivery for checkup. So she should be advised contraception. So will you ask her to use a combined OCP? Will you? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Which one is not advised? Will you not give her a OCP? Will you say that don't put an implant, not plant, IUCD or mini pill? Now combined OCP interferes because it has both estrogen and progesterone. Mini pill is also a progesterone only pill. Nor plant also has progesterone, so they don't interfere. And the best in ah. Uh, 
post uh, delivery period after delivery the best form of contraception is iucd because it's non hormonal so in any ways it is not going to interfere with lactation but which one should be completely completely not advised or restricted combined ocp should not be given in lactation because they are going to suppress it due to lactation due to estrogen okay rest of course you can give any uh, you can give a uh, mini also and uh, this thing but the best is iucd because it's non hormonal and it becomes um, you know easy uh, it does not affect lactation at all a 22 year old low socio economic female worker present with 8 hours of sexual assault on 13 day of cycle presents within 8 hours okay and asks for emergency what will you advise her lng 1.5 mg mesoprostol 800 microgram start mifepristone ki three doses ya ocp from first day of next cycle very good so here it is a question of emergency contraception guys emergency contraception may the most preferred now is yes a single tablet of levonorgestrel which is 1.5 mg theek hai sabse zyada kya preferred hota hai a single tablet of levonorgestrel jo ki aaj ke time mein preferred hai but which is the best emergency contraception best method for emergency contraception is what levonorgestrel has to be inserted has to be eaten within 72 hours okay the sooner the better of course but which is the best method the best method is intrauterine contraceptive device okay copper device because it can be used up to 5 days of unprotected <coughs> okay up to how many days it can be used up to 5 days of unprotected sexual intercourse so that is definitely the best method but emergency contraception best is iucd but this is not preferred why is this not preferred guys q q prefer q nahi hai because iucd is not in, inserted in a nulli paris and mostly emergency contraception is desired by unmarried females or even if married they've never had any children so far and they don't even want a children right now okay so remember these points see earlier we used to have this yasp method also which is levonorgestrel and ethyl estradiol this was preferred later we had levonorgestrel 0.75 mg two tablets used to be taken but now we have a single tablet mifepristone can also be given within 72 hours but again it's not that preferred and we all know emergency contraception is for unprotected or uh, this thing <clears throat> or accidental exposures theek hai and this is ipil can you see this is lng levonorgestrel 1.5 mg this is the single tablet okay which has to be taken within 72 hours okay next lng 1.5 mg mefa progesterone only pill also known as mini pill is the drug of choice mesoprostol and mifepristone are medical methods of abortion and mesoprostol and mife should only be taken when pregnancy takes place and ocp is being hormone are of course contraindicate theek hai so mesoprostol and mifepristone are the drugs which are taken to for abortion okay contraindications of device shown in the image what is the contraindication now intra uterine device okay intra uterine device everybody contraindication is a favorite mcq batao absolute and relative contraindication it has been repeated so many times you know it's a repeated pyq keeps on coming okay it is pid very good breast feeding iucd can be insertion now which iucd is this which one is this here it has copper wire on the horizontal and vertical arms theek hai copper t 380a so 380 mm square of 
copper wire is wound on the horizontal as well as on the vertical arms so this you can insert during breastfeeding in fact it's one of the best times okay it will not interfere with any lactation shelf life of 10 years yes very good and can you insert an IUCD in monogamous yes of course IUCD should never be inserted in a in a person in a woman who has multiple sexual partners it increases the risk of PID hypertension again it is non-hormonal so it has nothing to do with it but PID is an absolute contraindication see absolute contraindication of IUDs this is very very important guys so absolute contraindication suspected pregnancy vaginal bleeding of unknown cause PID cancer of cervix uterus and other pelvic tumors previous ectopic please remember any woman who has a history of previous ectopic pregnancy will never put a intrauterine device in her because again <coughs> it can increase the chance now to study relative contraindication just make a para here only yaha suspected pregnancy hai yaha pe put anemia menorrhagia now why anemia and menorrhagia because see most common side effect of iud insertion kya hai again in mcq most common side effect of iud insertion most common side effect of iud insertion kya hai everybody anemia all right anemia is the most common side effect second most common side effect sorry yeah bleeding bleeding say bleeding not anemia bleeding most common side effect is bleeding second most common side effect is pain and pain is the most common cause of removal so if anemia bleeding is the most common side effect and a woman is already anemic she lose a lot of blood although bleeding is physiological it can uh, go off in two to three months so we put the woman on iron tablets okay so relative may anemia menorrhagia yaha pe vaginal bleeding hai yaha pe kya ho jayega cervical discharge we are just making a comparison okay here vaginal bleeding here cervical discharge here you have pid okay here this is current pid past history of pid is relative Cancer of cervix uterus, here there is any congenital or acquired uterine abnormality. Okay, <coughs> congenital or maybe fibroid. Okay, and of course unmotivated. Why? What has motivation to do over here? Because the woman should feel for the thread, guys. Okay, if she doesn't feel for the thread, the, P, the, the IUD might have got displaced. So, she should always be feeling for the thread. Therefore, any P person who is having a long distance relationship or who are meeting occasionally, never advise an IUD for them. Barrier method is best for them. Because since the frequency of sexual intercourse is going to be so less, why would the woman even remember that she has an intrauterine device inserted? Okay. All right. Very good. Vector of Zika virus diseases, sandfly, Aedes, Culex, Anopheles. Very good. Aedes. Now, Aedes keeps coming in exams. Zika virus. Now, just look at this. Zika virus mainly transmits through Aedes also, sexual root also, blood and mother to child transmission. So, this is uh, <clears throat> very, very important. Okay, which keeps coming in your exams? No, that is, that is, that might be rafik for uh, ops and gynae people. Okay, according to them, maybe. But according to public health specialists, you think for yourself, Okay, if you are living in, if you are meeting occasionally, if somebody is meeting occasionally, all right, and on top of it, if the woman is a nulli paris, why would you insert an IUCD? Okay, so in that case, according to public health specialists, we think barrier method is more suited because the person is meeting occasionally. Why insert something into the body? Okay, all right. Let's move ahead. Zika virus can transmit through four routes, guys. 
ad sexual route blood as well as mother to child transmission so now this cycle can also come the next time there's a jungle cycle there's a urban cycle sexual transmission is happening blood transfusion and mother to child now mother to child transmission may baby presence with microcephaly okay that is very very important okay microcephaly no no this is all the roots okay all the roots this is that zika can transmit through sexual route yes through blood transfusion yes through mother to child yes okay and zika virus is associated with microcephaly in newborn also it can lead to gbs also it can lead to neuropathy or myelitis okay so life cycle should also be known to you mosquitoes of course let's quickly discuss all about the adult mosquitoes and also their eggs mosquitoes having spotted wings they definitely every year they are giving one or the other question for mosquito guys so mosquito having spotted wings is anopheles culex aedes or mansonia what is it very good spotted wings is anopheles okay so how do you identify the mosquito look at the adult mosquito okay you are going to look at the sitting posture if the mosquito i'll show you the image once very good sophisticated yes if the mosquito is sitting at an angle of 45 degrees sitting at an angle of 45 degree to the skin surface everybody plus the mosquito has spotted wings okay this is anopheles i'm going to show you the images and if the mosquito is sitting in a hunchback appearance okay hunchback appearance hunchback me baitha hua hai theek hai and hunchback is like this theek hai with white stripes on black body okay and without without white stripes on black body plus long legs so if it's hunchback with white stripes on black body this is aedes <coughs> sorry if it's hunchback without white stripes this is culex <coughs> now anopheles breeds in clean water so this is i'll show you the images now this is sophisticated theek hai sophisticated mosquito clean water mein breed kar raha hai aedes breeds in man made okay artificial collection of water kis mein breed kar raha hai artificial collection of water mein breed kar raha hai so this is kind of a man made mosquito okay remember this because this will help you remember the eggs and culex is breeding in which water dirty water so culex is kind of what a nuisance mosquito okay it's breeding in which water dirty water so it becomes a nuisance mosquito theek hai ab is image ke sath i mean keeping this background look at the image now if you look at the first one hunchback hunchback kind of a hunchback crawling on the wall but if you tilt it <coughs> it will again become hunchback tiger is aedes yes i'll tell you okay anand just a second now look at this last image this is sitting at an angle of 45 degree to the skin surface and yahan pe kya hai this is spotted wings okay spotted wings and an angle of 45 degree so this is anopheles okay hunchback all over white stripes ठीक है ऑल ओवर यू कैन सी वाइट स्ट्राइप्स ऑन ब्लैक बॉडी सो दिस इज एडीज दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज टाइगर मस्कीटो ओके ऑल राइट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है plus if you look at this this is also hunchback but there is no white stripes culex this is crawling if you tilt it <coughs> it is hunchback 
एंड लॉन्ग लेग्स अगेन ठीक है ये हो गया तुम्हारा लॉन्ग लेग्स सो अगेन दिस इज वॉट क्यू लेग्स लुक एट दिस एवरीबडी ब्राउन और ब्लैक ठीक है विथ व्हाइट स्पॉट्स दिस इज नॉट व्हाइट स्ट्राइप दिस इज जस्ट व्हाइट स्पॉट्स ऑन लेग्स सो व्हाइट स्पॉट्स ऑन लेग्स अगेन दिस इज वॉट मैनसोनिया ठीक है ये क्या है व्हाइट स्ट्राइप्स ऑन लेग्स है सो दिस इज मैनसोनिया इज इट क्लियर ओके नाउ एडीज कैन फ्लाई टू टू फाइव किलोमीटर्स और टू टू थ्री किलोमीटर्स द वंस दैट आर प्रेजेंट अराउंड अस टू टू थ्री किलोमीटर्स ओके ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट वॉट अबाउट क्यूलेक्स न्यूसेंस सॉरी एडीज कैन फ्लाई इट्स अ मैन मेड दिस थिंग ओके आर्टिफिशियल कलेक्शन सो दिस इज हंड्रेड मीटर्स एनोफिलीस एवरीबडी कैन फ्लाई फ्लाई टू टू थ्री किलोमीटर्स क्यूलेक्स न्यूसेंस है इलेवन किलोमीटर्स ओके डोंट फर्गेट दिस येस क्यूलेक्स इज अ वेक्ट ऑफ ऑफ आइलेरिया लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द एग्स ऑल्सो एंड द डिजीज इज ट्रांसमिटेड ओके सी एनोफिलीस क्या डिजीज ट्रांसमिट करता है येस एडीज इज हंड्रेड वी रिटर्न इट हंड्रेड आ लिया ठीक है ओके एनोफिलीस ट्रांसमिट्स मलेरिया नो द डिजीज इज ट्रांसमिटेड बिकॉज they can give you an image like they did last time and they can ask you which diseases are transmitted by ads or all are transmitted by ads except okay now ads kya kya transmit karta hai batao dengue chikungunya zika virus yellow fever but yellow fever not in india i'm talking about ads ads doesn't do japanese encephalitis okay yellow fever not in india and remember one more additional rift valley fever okay rift valley fever what about culex culex transmits japanese encephalitis filariasis okay and one more West Nile fever that you must remember. And what about Mansonia, guys? Mansonia transmits a form of filariasis, which is Brugian filariasis. In the image-based session that was held last week, we have also discussed all these things in detail. Okay, that is again present in the PDF. Okay, all right. Now just look at the eggs. Culex, जो होता है First come to this image. Which egg is this? Then we'll discuss about it. ये किसका egg है? Now you can see this egg is like this with lateral floats. Okay? So this is what boat shaped. With lateral floats. Okay? These are boat shapes. Now who is like a boat shaped? ठीक है? What is like a boat shaped? Now this is for Anopheles eggs. Anopheles was a sophisticated mosquito, likes to row in a boat alone. ठीक है, rows in a boat, sophisticated है. ठीक है, this is a sophisticated mosquito. Okay, sophisticated mosquito है, so likes to row in a boat alone. Okay, so that means lays its eggs single. Now Look over here. <coughs> so this is Anopheles, boat shaped. All right, boat shaped with lateral floats. But if you talk about ADs, everybody, if you talk about ADs, artificial collection of water, man made, man smokes a cigar, so cigar shaped eggs. Culex, culex in dirty water, nuisance. So it's also laying its eggs in clusters. Culex is a nuisance, and culex is a nuisance. So it's laying its eggs in clusters. Everybody, or a cluster me kitte eggs hai? One fifty to two hundred. One fifty to three hundred eggs. Okay, in one. Uh, sorry, hundred to two fifty eggs in one clusters. Okay, hundred to two fifty eggs in one cluster. Okay, that's a new sense mosquito in rafts. Very good. So whatever I've just showed you, I've written it here for you. 
Culex in clusters, Culex is new sense, so in clusters or rafts, 100 to 250 eggs in one cluster. Anopheles, eggs laid singly. Boat shaped have lateral floats, it's a sophisticated mosquito. Aedes again, cigar shaped single because it's it's breeding due to man what about mansonia guys mansonia lays its eggs in star shaped clusters they go mansonia will lay its eggs like this okay mansonia ke eggs aise honge mansonia star theek hai sonia star theek hai so this is how mansonia eggs will look like this is star shaped very good mansonia se star ho gaya so that is star shaped all right so which one is this image <coughs> now whatever you've learned <coughs> quickly can you identify ye kya hai which egg is this which egg is this everybody very good this has no lateral floats it is laid singly it is cigar shaped ladies <coughs> okay chal this we have already done i'll just label it it has come again what about this fourth image what is this fourth image guys what is d see brown or black with only there are no white stripes on the entire body this is also hunchback but it's brown or black in color and there are only white spots on the legs okay white spots kahan hai sirf pair pe hai so this is what mansonia okay white stripes are only on the legs long shiny legs very good okay next urban um, all right there only one more thing let's talk about if this is the larva okay so larva resting parallel to water surface ye kaun sa hai larva resting parallel to water surface is anopheles okay anopheles everyone has no siphon tube theek hai has no siphon tube but if it's a larva like this <coughs> siphon tube is present so a longer siphon tube is culex okay and a shorter siphon tube is aedes okay so when you talk about siphon tube jisme hai okay that can be culex or aedes most expected is anopheles they will ask you resting parallel to water surface chalo next what is this urban heart is urban health equity assessment and response tool urban health evaluation assessment and response tool urban health equity assessment and response technique urban health evaluation assessment and response technique <clears throat> okay now for what it is is it is for what so dekho urban health equity assessment and response tool is used by who to identify and reduce health <clears throat> inequities in the city please don't write it has something to do with heart or something no it is to reduce health inequities okay urban heart consists of health inequities not cvs okay cvs se iska koi relationship nahi hai it is <clears throat> it is to identify and reduce the inequities which are there in the cities considering health okay so next time they can give you this it consists of three vital components sound evidence intersectoral action and community participation okay so it is to identify and reduce health inequities so what is it answer urban health equity assessment and response team response to matlab we have to address health inequities okay nothing to do with cvs health inequities <clears throat> okay all right among the various countries theek hai so this becomes urban heart okay all right so urban heart hai but it is urban health equity assessment and response tool to address health inequities theek hai this was developed by who chale <clears throat> all right which agency collects data and publishes large scale surveys continuously regarding morbidity family planning vital events aims central bureau of health nss 
SRS. What is your answer? Publishes large scale surveys continuously regarding morbidity, family planning, vital events. Now the word this large scale surveys, not SRS, no, national sample survey, very good, very good Rafiq. National Sample Survey, see NSSO, National Sample Survey Office is one of the largest organizations, okay, which is one of the uh, things that conducts the largest surveys, okay, largest surveys conduct karte. and this is under Ministry of Statistics, okay, this is under what? Ministry of Statistics. It's responsible for conducting the largest of the surveys. Okay. And this is under Ministry of Statistics. See, National Scale, scale Sample Surveys regulatory, regulatory carries out large scale sample surveys in diverse fields. They are mainly based on household surveys. This was started in 1950 and up to now more than 586 reports have been published. That's okay. But before that, I want to tell you some points about SRS guys, which is most expected. This has come a lot of times. Anybody sample registration <coughs> system. Let's just quickly revise a few golden points about it. What is this? This is a dual recorder system. Dual recorder system means it is conducted okay it is it has a part time dual recorder kyu bolte isko because it has a part time enumerator and it also has a full time enumerator theek hai part time enumerator hai full time enumerator hai plus it is conducted every 6 months har 6 mahine mein aata hai plus it provides what it provides annual estimates okay it provides it's conducted every six months okay but it is the data is released yearly like srs 2020 2021 2022 and this is under <clears throat> one of the most important things this is the most efficient sabse acha health information collection system hai. this is the most efficient Health information what? Collection system. One of the best, most efficient health information collection system, okay, is SRS, all right? And it is providing you data on, it provides data on what? It provides data on like IMR, okay, MMR, okay, NMR, okay, uh, crude birth rate, crude death rate. All this data is being provided by SRS, okay? That is very, very important. Annual growth rate, okay? Annual growth rate. All this data is being provided by SRS, okay? So, this is, remember, most efficient. Sabse acha hai. So, what is the least efficient health information system? Subse come efficient health information system kya hai? CRS. What is CRS everybody? Civil registration system. Okay, what is it? It's civil registration system which is dealing with birth and death registration. Yes, under 5 also. Very good. Under 5 mortality rate also. Under 5 mortality rate is the same as child mortality rate. Okay, so remember this. But question didn't come on SRS, didn't come on CRS. But it came on NSSO. NSSO is the largest surveys which it's, it's the organization which is under Ministry of Statistics and provides the, conducts the very, uh, the largest socioeconomic surveys. Clear everybody? Okay. Chalo, as we do the next PYQ session, you'll see some questions from CRS also which have come. All right. Let us do one more question. Prevalence is associated with, sorry. <coughs> What is your answer? Sensitivity, specificity, PPVs or accuracy. Many times repeated. Okay. It's like a favorite PYQ. Favorite PYQ. Hai. And what have I taught you in classes also? What have I taught you? No, no, not B guys. Jabbe be a prevalence deko ge. And in the options you have predictive values. It is directly associated with predictive values. Okay. Like. If the prevalence increases, 
okay what is happening to and if you get a graph like this so ppv is also increasing but if over here let's say if the prevalence increases and the graph is like this on the y axis you have npv so ppv is directly proportional to prevalence npv everybody is indirectly proportional to prevalence so agar kabhi bhi you get a question on prevalence and you see that predictive values has been mentioned in the option then your answer becomes that one is it clear very very important chalo let's do one more question for the day uh -huh. one second yes newborn birth rate is 25 per 1000 population in a village which total population of this much total number of pregnancies per year this is again one of the favorite numerical fav numerical okay it comes many time what is your answer to this guys so over here you have to consider the pregnancy wastage factor okay so here for a population of 1000 25 is the birth rate we have to find it for 5000 so for 5000 the birth population the birth rate is going to be 125 now most of you are writing option a no all the women who are pregnant will they go on to give birth to a healthy baby or is it that all pregnancies will Uh, turn out to be healthy no there will be some maternal mortality so what you forget in exams is you forget to add 10% of pregnancy wastage factor please don't forget to add this 10% of pregnancy wastage factor that means expected pregnancy everybody expected pregnancies would be 125 to hai hi plus there is some wastage happening so 10% of 125 so that is going to be 125 plus 12.5 so how much will it come out to be if you see <coughs> 137.5 almost 138 is it clear please don't forget to add the 10% of pregnancy wastage factor and if i ask you number of pregnancies registered at one point of time wo kitna ho jayega number of pregnancies registered with anm okay at any one point of time which is one step ahead at any one point of time कितने नंबर ऑफ प्रेगनेंसीज रजिस्टर्ड होंगे वो दे एन एम एट एनी वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इज फिफ्टी परसेंट हाफ ओके सो दैट विल बी वन थर्टी एट बाई टू कर लो सिक्सटी नाइन okay 69 would be the one registered guys please pay very good attention 125 is not the answer you have to include 10% of pregnancy wastage all the women those who are pregnant okay some there will be maternal mortality as well so we have to consider 10% of pregnancy wastage factor so that is 125 plus 10 percent add कर दो 137.5 हुआ 138 आ गया and at any one point of time कितने pregnancies registered होंगे with the ANM half so that is going to become 138 by 269 clear okay now one more question for the days ESI after certification by benefic medical officer beneficiaries get 70 percent of wages for three months so what is this Which benefit is this under ESI Act? Employee State Insurance, seventy percent of wages for three months. ये कौन सा benefit है? Three मतलब roughly ninety one days. Medical benefit, sickness, disablement या dependence benefit. Very good. Sickness benefit. This question is never going to go out. Please remember, medical benefit is cashless benefit. I think I have it written for you. Yes, medical benefit is full medical care. Okay, this is a cashless benefit. If you talk about sickness benefit, seventy percent of wages payable for ninety one days. Extended sickness benefit is payable for two years for a set of thirty four diseases. Most important, it's for TB at eighty percent of wages. Okay, TB puts the leprosy aid. Sab ke liye hota hai. Enhanced sickness benefit is full average daily wage for duration up to seven days. That means at hundred percent wages, seven days vasectomy, fourteen days in case of tubectomy. 
maternity benefit is at 100% wages for 26 weeks. Six weeks ke liye miscarriage or MTP mein, four weeks of sickness arising out of pregnancy or something. Temporary disablement benefit 90% till recovery. Permanent 90% of wages for loss of earning. Okay? Dependence pension is also at the rate of 90%. Funeral is 15,000. Clear? Vasectomy and tubectomy is enhanced. All right. Remember these benefits, they are very, very important. And uh, in ESI Act, guys, remember what is employer's contribution? How much is employer's contribution? Employer's contribution is 3.25% of the wages. And what is employee's contribution? That is 0.75%. And anybody who is earning up to 21,000 per month is applicable for ESI scheme. Okay? 21,000 per month. Wo ESI scheme ka applicable. Like he can avail services under that. Is it clear everybody? Okay. All right. Not 1.75. So I think that's it for today for the first part of PYQ's case. We will be, I'll be conducting a session very soon, hopefully on Tuesday, the second part of PYQ. Okay. <clears throat> क्या ये employer contribute करता है so much of amount and salaries of employee का 0.75% is being contributed रफीक okay that's less that's very less a number ठीक है all right so I will see you again Tuesday with another session of PYQ the PDF will be provided in the Telegram group and Academy Telegram group also and PSM with Dr Neha Telegram group also ठीक है and uh, for uh, FMG students, we will have another PYQ session on Tuesday, guys. Please look out for the link on Telegram channels. We will also have a numerical and formula session, okay? Numerical and formula session. And one, we are going to have a supersonic revision, okay? Supersonic revision. And last but not the least, there will also be a class on updates. All of this will be covered by next week, hopefully, okay, by the next Sunday. Everything would be covered. The PDFs will be there on Telegram group, okay, PSM with Dr. Neha. Please do avail the PDFs, okay, it will be helpful for you. And uh, on Telegram, on an Academy Telegram also, the PDF will be available. Please remember, an Academy is conducting a MedMind Combat, okay, MedMind Combat on 27th. Okay, so you have amazing prizes. It's absolutely free and you're going to go in exciting prizes. Just download the app and enroll for it. Use my link PSM10, code PSM10. Okay, thank you so much guys. Have a good day. I'll see you soon uh, with another session. Keep revising all the required links and everything are there on the Telegram group. Please access it. Any doubts and queries, you can send out a message on Telegram. Bye-bye or Instagram as well. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Take care. Keep studying. Don't give up. All right. See you soon.